All right, some brief instructions for your optional extra credit assignment where you're going to determine your latitude and your longitude using the sun in a pretty precise way. So the sun has two motions as it looks in the sky. Now remember, Polaris, the North Star, stays in the same location. You go out every night, every night's in the same spot, never moves. But the sun, of course, in the morning it's low in the sky, at noon it's high in the sky, and in the evening it's low in the sky. So that's one motion caused by the rotation of Earth. The second motion is caused because the Earth is tilted on its axis relative to its uh, revolution around the sun. So in summertime in the northern hemisphere, the axis is tilted slightly in the direction of the sun, which means that we have longer days and the sun appears higher in the sky. In our winter time, in the northern hemisphere, the axis is tilted away from the sun and uh, therefore the days are shorter and the sun appears lower in the sky. Only on the equinoxes, which is March the 21st and September 21st, is the sun directly over the equator. So if you were to do this optional assignment on March the 21st or September 21st, you wouldn't have to do one of the calculations in this assignment. But I'm assuming that you are not doing it on those days that you're doing this assignment uh, some other day than those two. So you've got to account for the position of the sun in the sky every day, and you've got to account for the position of the sun in the sky for the day of the year. Now to do that, there's one key, and that is to get the precise exact time when the sun is highest in the sky for your position. That's going to allow you to do two things. It's going to allow you to calculate your longitude based on the time difference between your local apparent noon, solar noon, and Greenwich, England, the prime meridian. And it's also going to allow you to calculate the angle of the shadow cast by the sun at that exact moment. And that's going to let you know with some calculation, because you have to account for the day of the year, with some calculation, it's going to let you know uh, your latitude very precisely. So when we go out to measure the shadow of the sun with a vertical object, then we're going to be looking to find the exact time when the shadow is the shortest, because that's going to tell us the highest point that the sun is in the sky for our location. So you can use a, a street sign, you can use a fence post, whatever. But a couple of key things. The object that you're using to measure its shadow, you have to be able to access it. And it's got to cast the shadow in the right direction. So if it's, you know, if it's a, a building uh, is uh, in the way, then you might not be able to measure the shadow. Or if there's not a flat surface on which to measure its shadow, then again, that object's not going to work. So what I've done numerous times is I've kind of scouted out um, a fence post, for example, that's right beside a sidewalk. And I would be able to measure the height of the fence post, and I've been able to measure the shadow that it casts on the sidewalk. And uh, as long as you're able to measure the shadow and get the time exactly of the shortest shadow on a particular day, then we'll be able to calculate your latitude very close and your longitude of your location. Again, this is extra credit, and I'll show you another video where I show you how I've set up the experiment, uh, the measurement technique, and you'll be able to, to translate that into something that you can use, like I say, a fence post or uh, some other vertical object that is next to a perfectly level surface.